Okay, this is a 2018 Ram. We're gonna do an installation of blue rings here, and we're gonna be trimming the rail cap and showing you how with our router tools that we have available on most of the items that are uh, included in the Ram. So now the rear pocket has this scribe line right here, and as you can see, the plastic rolls over the edge and goes down about three quarters of an inch, and it's open at the bottom. And most guys think that this is pre-cut because it's open. Can you get a shot of that? It's open down inside there. So guys are of the opinion that this cap is open, but it's actually not because that plastic is still preventing you from having the bullring go in there and grab the steel on the left and right side because the bullring wants to get hooked up behind this downturned edge on the left and right side. And when you pull up on it, it can't come out. And we drop the cover, it makes a sandwich on the rail and that allows the ring to move up and down independently. So what we're gonna have to do is cut this plastic back here so that this finishing router bit can go beyond that and trim right up next to the edge of the metal. So the first thing we're gonna do is use our saw blade in the router, which is this. That will go in there and cut right below that lip right there, all the way around, and give this router bit an opportunity to clean the hole. This downturned lip of steel back here is probably about a quarter inch, maybe a little more on the left and right side. So I wanna get below that, but I also wanna cut close to it. If you could see, now the plastic is cut away right to, this, to the metal all the way around. Now this router bit will be able to clean right up to the edge. So we're gonna change router bits, I'll be right back. So I changed the router bit and I put in the cleaning router. The rollers are on the bottom of this specialty router bit that we make so that when it's upside down, these will roll on the edge of the truck and the blade will cut the plastic just above it and only just above it. So now the ideal for installation is that um, you wanna take the screws completely out of the body. You could actually take them all the way out of the product if you want. But as long as they're loose from the body, you should be able to lower the first leg in, roll it down into the hole, and then you see how the uprights hook behind the lip, as I mentioned before, and they can't come out. So you change your grasp to the, to the bull ring, and then start the screws. So you only want to make these hand tight. You don't want to use a drill gun or over tighten these. You don't want to tighten this down to the point where the cover would distort into a bowl shape or put any undue pressure on the rail. You can see that just a quarter turn past snug, about the same amount of pressure is required to turn off a water faucet. That's all you need to do on the screws. And the screws will hold it in place. And once it's in place, the ring will lock and stay in the up position and go back down to flush when you don't need it. That's a bull ring on 18 Rand. So just to, in order to put this plunge through here, we have to come up with a bit that's about this size so that we can put a hole right in the center. There we go. I got it set so that the blade is just gonna cut the plastic and nothing else. I may have to go just a hair deeper. And that's where it's set. So here we go. You can see that the blade just went right to the edge of the hole and stopped and left a little bit of scribe line, but it's exactly what we need to install the bull rings. So I'll get one and put it in right now. So once again, with the screws completely out of the product, I can just lay one leg in there, roll it forward. And then I think in the sunshine here, you'll be able to see how the legs have hooked up behind that downturned lip on the left and right. Can you see that? and they can't come out. So once that's the case, you change your grasp to keep that tension and drop the cover down to just the right spot. I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep my fingers out of it and start the screws. And I'll do a fine adjustment just at the end here. Yeah. And then right before it's over, I'm gonna adjust it straight and cover up that scribe line. And then just snug it down. Again, I'm not using a power tool to turn the screws. I only need it just a quarter turn past snug and the bull ring won't go anywhere. It can't move, but the ring goes up and down, locks into up position, stores flush. Oh my God.